Hello everyone, welcome back to GeForce and our booth at E3. My name is Julian, I'm here with Andy Nguyen, and we're gonna talk about Tooth and Tail. So you're a producer and designer on this game. It's a real-time strategy with cute, furry animals yeah. fighting to the death, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Tell me, why fuzzy animal death? It goes back to when we decided to make Tooth and Tail in the first place. We were trying to make a real-time strategy game that could have the high level of competitive play that people love about real-time strategy games, but also make it a little bit more accessible to different types of players, people who may not have the APM skills that are required to play at a competitive level. And so when we were talking about the setting for the whole situation, we found that animals would be one of the best settings for it because animals are really readable. Right. So when you have a battlefield with tons of units on it and they're all killing each other in different ways, it's hard to tell what's going on, but everyone can immediately recognize that the birds are flying, the squirrels are tiny little creatures, and you know larger creatures are more powerful than that. Clever, and you've also done that with your gameplay design, right? In terms of like, this is a game that you only need a handful of buttons to really be right. useful and good at, correct? Right. That like, was absolutely how we approached designing the game from the beginning. We knew we needed to rethink real-time strategy game from the ground up. And so we thought about all the aspects that make real-time strategy games really competitive. Uh, and that's like the economic side, the strategic aspects of the map, and the sort of the tactical gameplay. But we also wanted to get rid of things like having tons of hotkeys or microing units on an individual level, because that seems to be really challenging for most players. So we started off having the design constraint of making it playable on a controller. And you can control your entire army with a single button. You move a commander around, it's very simple. And wherever you want your army to go, you push the right, tr uh, right trigger, and all your units will go and attack in that location. But likewise, you can also control individual groups of units with the left trigger. Yeah. So if you have like a couple controllers and a way to stream it, say, to like an NVIDIA Shield, right, you should yeah, be absolutely. able to do like couch play with a buddy of one versus one of a real-time strategy game, right? Yeah, we even have local multiplayer. So for yeah. people who wanted to play around the same PC if they wanted to with different interfaces because we support mouse and keyboard as well. I also like, from the fuzzy animal standpoint as well, you guys seem to have gone kind of a little berserk with the animals outfit. It's like Rocket Raccoon or like sharks with lasers on their heads yeah, kind yeah. of vibe, right? Yeah, we definitely. Well, the whole setting is inspired by the Russian Revolution or the Industrial Revolution, that whole era. Mm -hmm. And so we've taken all the types of combat that have existed in sort of that whole era and we've outfitted different types of units with it. So yeah, they have like machine guns and you know pistols and various different types of weaponry. Right. So it can get kind of brutal, <laughs> even though they're cute, fuzzy animals. Right. But it sounds like from a gameplay standpoint, even if you're not a big RT, Yes, sir. This is a game that you can just jump in, understand right away, and have a bunch of fun with. Yeah. My favorite thing, I, I think this kind of conveys the tone of you guys over at Pocket Watch, is that the release date on Steam right now is when you least expect it. Yeah. Well, we might have more news about that coming soon. So. Okay. Well, thank you so much for Thanks coming so much in and talking to us. Thank you guys for tuning in to GeForce. Check out Tooth and Tail when you least expect it. And we'll see you guys next time on GeForce. Mm -hmm.